Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We're glad to have you on the joining us today, and we are taking your calls live at 737-1200 or 1-800-383-WOAI. Again, that local number is 737-1200. We'll be glad to take your call. If you have any questions about anything going on at your home or your plans to remodel your home, Today, however, we're going to be talking about, in between your calls, we'll be talking about should I buy new or remodel. So we're just going to go through a little list of things that are the pros and cons of buying new and remodeling. Of course, KM Builders is also a custom home builder, so if you want to custom build with us, we'd love to do that for you as well. But there's some really interesting numbers to consider and facts to consider that a lot of people don't think about when they're looking at buying a new home. Of course, it, uh, the recent trends in home prices have really moved a lot of people into the remodeling market. It's one of the recent reasons we're in remodeling is because it has some advantages that new homes just don't offer. And so we're going to talk about the cost, the value, of course, of each one of these, remodeling or new, buying new. We want to talk about the taxes, the disruption, the location, etc. So. And then uh, you might be surprised at what the cost even is in selling a home. We're going to mm -hmm. go into that as well. <laughs> and so let's talk about the first point, which is cost. The cost of, build, of remodeling versus the cost of buying new. Well, uh, the first thing that I think about is Jaime told me Friday that in 2022, lumber prices are going up. Yeah, which means... 5%, right? Well, which is, and that's just starting off. Yeah. And and that means that a remodeling, that, I'm glad you mentioned that because I forgot to mention that. But remodeling uses a smaller proportion of its dollars in lumber yes. than new construction does. So that's a very good one. I need to write that on my list. Because <laughs> uh, lumber, lumber's going up and it's going to affect home sales more percentage-wise more than it's going to affect remodeling costs. So again, it's going to push more people to think about what can I do with my existing home? Mm -hmm. You just don't use as much lumber in a remodeling project to get what you want as you do. Um, let's just say for every 100,000 that you're remodeling, you might be using somewhere around 10% in lumber. And sometimes it's 8 to 7 to 5% of your cost is in lumber. Mm -hmm. but, in re but in homes, it's gotten to 18 and maybe even as much as 20% of the cost of a home. Yeah. So 15 to 18, easy to do in, in a new home, and it can be possibly going even higher. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a real plus. I'm glad you mentioned that. And it was just a side note, I was thinking about it, you know, some of our clients, especially when we did a large addition, they're like, well, should I just wait for the lumber to go down? Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that's a real I bet they're really risk. happy that they didn't wait because they would have ended up paying more. Yeah, in most cases, that's what's going to happen by waiting. There's a few mm -hmm. little, maybe a few little windows that have been exceptions. But uh, in general, we don't think that's the way to, to plan your remodeling project, waiting for something to go down. Yeah. Especially with inflation now projected to go up in 2022, so much greater. Mm -hmm. So, again, try to beat it. And there's another really good time to think about doing it soon is right now interest rates are low. You can lock in a low interest rate for your remodel get more of what you want and it's going to be worth so much more when inflation hits yeah and you're going to be like this was cheap compared to what we <laughs> what we would have paid for it now yeah so if you ever want something to rise in value think about doing it while your interest rates are lower and while costs are lower this may be the last time we can have a real conversation about costs being lower mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's going to be on you know uh, we're going to once that hits it's you can't go backwards yep <clears throat> So as far as costs go, you know, the advantage of, of buying a home is, yeah, you're paying less per square foot. On remodeling, you do pay higher per square foot, higher per room, if you will. Yeah. Um, but, the, you know, there's a reason for that. You're spreading it out over a bunch of cheap rooms. Your, your kitchen and your bathroom are expensive. Yeah. And then you've got all these inexpensive rooms, like bedrooms. And, well, you've already got all the other square foot. <laughs> yeah. And so when we remodel a kitchen or a bathroom, we're hitting the expensive area. Mm -hmm. We're not doing all the other bedrooms and so forth that are already that are already uh, built, mm -hmm. and so and we can't we can't average that cost out. Yes. 
Because so, the bedroom is just walls and a ceiling. Yeah, yeah, and that's why remodeling is more expensive per foot. Because mm -hmm. you don't have as much square footage to average it out over. Definitely. Um, one of the advantages, too, is that your overall payment on remodeling is going to be lower. Even though you're paying more per room, per se, or per square foot, you're going to pay less overall than you would for the price of that new home. Mm -hmm. Yes, If you were to take a scenario where your house is paid for, and now you're going to either buy another home or you're going to add on to this home. Obviously, the cost of buying another home is going to be way more. And your payment's going to be different. And mm -hmm. you know most people are going to pay several hundred thousand more for that new home than what they would for the one they're living in. If they have a home that's going to sell for three hundred, they're typically looking at moving into a five hundred thousand dollar home. Two hundred thousand versus, you know, whatever the cost of the remodeling is. But even if it were equal, let's say you're putting 200000 into a remodel versus 200000 into a new home. Let's talk about that. Uh, one of the things that you, you might not think about is you may not have to increase your insurance right away. And when you get a new home, it's going to appraise at whatever it appraises at. Your insurance is not going to change just because you made your kitchen more beautiful. They'll still insure that kitchen. <laughs> They'll still insure that bathroom. Yeah. Even though it'll resell for a lot higher, there's no reason to, to go have to change all that right away. Now you may want to change yeah. that just in case. You may want to up it, but yeah. more than likely your insurance with the with the way that they, they work mm -hmm. is going to cover whatever it is. You just need to continue to prove what you have. Mm -hmm. But but insurance is something that doesn't go down. And when you pay, a, you know, let's say you're getting one kitchen, and let's say it's 85000 mm -hmm. but you go get that house that has that same beautiful kitchen, you're going to pay a couple hundred thousand for that and the insurance that goes with it. And so that is something you will not get back. Let's talk a little bit just about value now. There's the cost. How about the value? Greater quality, usually in the remodeling, because it's all fully custom. You're going to get a lower quality in the home because it's nice, but it's not fully custom. Yeah. And there's going to be features that you don't like or going to have to or wish you could change. When you go with remodeling, you're going to have more luxury features to get that bathroom, that spa effect, or that kitchen, that beautiful stone that you wanted. Mm -hmm. You get to hand pick that. You don't get to do that in, unless you're going fully custom, which is usually you know eight hundred thousand plus. Yeah. And so you get less features and uh, more personalized. And you know, you'll get to personalize that home. Usually you've got several plans to choose from, but in yours, you get to fully, um, you know, just really customize your floor plan. So it can be very, very personalized. I know you get involved with a lot of the personal statements mm -hmm. in these kitchens and bathrooms. And would you call it personal to a lot of them? Oh, definitely. I mean, just Friday we had a, a we had two different plans for a homeowner to look at, and one was to move a refrigerator and give him more of a cooktop workspace around his uh, oven and stove. And the other was to have a nice cabinet over there where we would have moved it and put some open shelving. And that's a very personal decision. We can't make that for him. What's your cooking style and layout? And you get to make that decision mm -hmm. when you remodel. You can show them what it'll look like, though. Yeah, exactly. And, and that takes time, mm -hmm. but that's certainly worth it. Yeah. And then they're satisfied. Yeah, and he decision. went with the one that I would have not chosen for mm -hmm. my lifestyle, which was really cool, mm -hmm. because he likes that. <laughs> and then again, luxury. Where you, you get this luxury features in there. Definitely. That, that you're not going to be able to do. You could sprinkle that in there heavy or a lot, but you're not going to get that out of a, out of a regular home. No. It might be overall really nice and more beautiful in your home, but you're not going to get the same touches that you would in a personalized remodeling project. So there's some of the costs and some of the value. We're going to go over more costs and some more values when we come back uh, after the break. But I want to mention something that I'm doing to my car and that you may be interested in doing to your sports vehicle or muscle car at R2 Motorsports. Uh, we're having him do some things that were not done correctly by the last person that worked on it. And so he's going to just fine-tune that. He's going to fine-tune the exhaust uh, and so forth on the Hellcat, as you probably know. <laughs> but uh, talk to Leroy about your pet project. And I know a lot of you do have one. 
Uh, even if it's a four-wheel drive, go talk to him about it. tuning that thing up and getting some of the ideas from him. Just like we do in remodeling, he has ideas about cars we haven't even thought about. 210-354-7004. That's 354-7004. Or go to r2motorsports.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show. Every day. All day. What are y'all doing to me? Getting home. Because they're going out. Yes. You're on that, that thread. David said, I felt like I was going to get told on in your last video on Thursday night. Yeah. Did he tell you? Yeah. It was so funny. He was like, Morgan's trying to cover me. Cover for me.
Everyone's doing good. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. And we're talking about your sweet home in Texas. <laughs> do you want it new or do you want it remodeled? Anything can feel new. So one of the one of the things you might need to be doing with the weather that we're getting is check your roof. And yeah. we've been having quick roofing due to the checking of our clients' homes that have possible damage, leaks, and so forth. And they've been in business just like Kane Builders since 1984. And you can talk, talk to them. They're not just quick. They're thorough. And they did a wonderful job on my sister-in-law's house. And I just got a text from them today saying, thank you so much for, for uh, taking care of us. We feel so safe in the home now. <laughs> yeah, so you can call them at 817-477-0999. And they're one of our trusted subcontractors that works in harmony with all of our remodeling projects. 817-477-0999. Or go to quickroofing.com and forward slash San Antonio, Texas. Put dashes between those. And so we're talking about should I buy new or remodel? We've talked a little bit about the cost of the payments and insurance and so forth. But there's a couple of other things that we want to talk about as far as cost goes. Pros and cons. And most of them when it comes to cost are actually negative on the side of buying a new home. For example, taxes. Uh, you may be living in a home that your taxes are, you know, you, you may fight your taxes like I do so that you're, you're paying less than what you could probably sell it for uh, under an ideal circumstance. Hopefully a lot less than what you could sell it for. Mm -hmm. And if you're in that situation, that's about to change when you go buy your new home. Why? Because they're gonna know what you paid for. <laughs> and you're gonna pay taxes on exactly the amount you paid for, which is probably market value. Yep. Unless you get a steal, which is very, very hard to find. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pay more in taxes. That means not only is the cost of the home more and your, and your payment goes up because of that, but it goes up because of taxes. And as we already mentioned, insurance is going to go up too because it's going to be insuring a more expensive home. Maybe even a third to double the price of what it is now. And you know when those things go down in price, the taxes and the insurance? They never do. <laughs> they never do. It's always going to be at that level. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you have a lower level of taxes and insurance because your home is appraised at less, but you'd like to have more of a home and not pay more on the taxes and insurance, your only choice is to remodel. Yeah. And, and that's when, just a fact. And when you get your home appraised after the remodel, it doesn't. That doesn't automatically put your taxes higher. No. They don't. You don't even. That have doesn't to get, get connected. You don't even have to get. No, unless you want to get more equity. Yeah, they are always looking at your home and they're reappraising it for you. Mm -hmm. But um, that's based on the outside of your home. If you didn't change the square footage, it's not going to change. Exactly. <clears throat> not for that reason. Nope. It'll change because, you know, their rates are going up and the yeah. sales rates are going up and all that. You won't be able to fight it once you don't have an ugly kitchen anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you can go base it off the outside of the home. Yeah. You know, and, and so you keep it as low as you can and. and that's actually a big savings. I mean, we're probably oh, yeah. saving for the size of our home and what we could get for this or what we would have to pay to buy a new one. We're paying half the taxes that we would be because we've decided to remodel several, of course, several remodels over the years. Mm -hmm. So taxes, insurance, and the cost of the payment is way, way bigger than you might think. Uh, there's also things like um, an HOA. Um, like we're, we're, living, we're in an HOA that costs us about 150 a year. Which is unheard of. Yeah. But it's most like that's and, a monthly thing. And when we first moved into that, which was 31 years ago, that was not considered abnormal. It was maybe a little lower than some, but not much. Yeah. But now, whatever you're paying in your HOA, if you've been in your home for a while, it's a lot less than what they're charging in new HOAs. Mm -hmm. So just remember that you're going to pay more in an HOA, and you may be in one that likes to go up yeah. uh, when you when you move. You don't know where it's going to be, where it's going to top out. But if you're in an established neighborhood, and they have the amenities already built, they're probably going to stay pretty stable on the cost of your HOA. Ours has only gone up, I believe, thirty dollars in thirty years. Wow. Yeah. So 
we don't we like that a lot. It's all right here. <laughs> yeah, and and you know it, it only cost us a little over what twelve, fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars a month mm -hmm. to be in the HOA, and that and that has some protections. Mm -hmm. So if you're in an HOA, think about what that new HOA is going to cost you, and that may be something to think about. It's several hundred dollars more probably, yeah. and it can get to be some some really expensive in some neighborhoods. So let's look at one more cost before we go into some of the other factors, and that is the cost of selling a home. And that is something that a lot of people have a mis, uh, misconception about. How much do you think that people feel that it costs to sell the home? Mm, not much. What, I mean, what percentage? If I was guessing, I wouldn't guess that number that you just showed me. I would have guessed, guessed like 3% or something. Mm -hmm. So even lower. <laughs> yeah. uh, the typical that people think is 4 to 6% for the real estate agents oh, okay. involved. And so, you know, they're going to they're gonna usually get that. And that's that's pretty much a given. 4 to 6% are real estate agents. Oh, okay. And, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Um, as we see that in a lot of cases, it's going to be that five to six percent for a real estate agent's commission. Yeah. And sometimes you get one that will do it for a little less. But you may have two agents in some cases, so you're going to be mm -hmm. at least six percent and sometimes more. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could count on four to six percent for sure. Yeah. Now, when you when you sell a home, typically you have to do some work to it. And yeah. um, I think about repair costs. Yeah, and I think about all the you want it staged properly. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, there's some money involved. In yeah, because you do a staging company. Mm -hmm. If you do a, if you do it right, you're going to pay about one percent probably for staging mm -hmm. and repair costs. Now, what are those going to be? Well, you know, you're, usually you're going to need to have some work done for the normal wear and tear. And usually the buyer is going to ask you to make the repairs or ask for a credit that's equal to the cost that they expect it to be, which you know, and you're trying to get out of your home and you're going to be like, oh, let's just pay it. Let's just give them the money. And because uh, you want, you've got this other home in mind that you're wanting to buy it. So it's not unusual for that to be two to three percent of the cost of, of the, the home. Mm -hmm. And so staging, one percent maybe, real estate agents, it can be as much as six percent. Repair costs, not unusual to be three percent or more. Um, Sometimes there's concessions also in a, from a seller. It's, it's, it's common for sellers to pay for costs for the buyer, uh, such as like inspection fees or processing fees, transferring taxes, and so forth. So whenever, um, what's it called, next door, open door. Mm -hmm. Open door did an analysis of home sales data that indicated that when buyers in certain markets ask for concessions, they are asking for about one and a half to two percent of the home sale price. Mm. And that's something that, you know, I know that we don't think of when we no. sell our home, but there's going to be some concessions in many cases to get to get those top tier buyers. And, you know, it was down a little bit. The concessions were almost zero in 2021, but that's already changing. Yeah. It's going back where you're going to have some concessions. There's a thing called home ownership and overlap also. And if you're like most people, you'll need to sell your old house before you put down a down payment on a new one. So the cost of the housing during the transition period from your old house to your new one is something to think about. You might need to even stay in a hotel or store your belongings, get some store, you know, some storage or rental, mm -hmm. uh, negotiate a lease back from, from the person you're selling it to while you look and close on your new home. And so that can typically be 1% of the cost of a, of a home. Then there's closing costs. Hey, everybody knows about that. That's typically about 1%. Mm -hmm. There's escrow fees, title insurance, and homeowners association transfer fees. And they can go from 1% to 3%. So that's uh, based on the fees and the legal requirements of where you particularly live. Uh, one other big thing, though, is we said, we talked a little bit about taxes. But when you go to a new home, you have tax, you don't get these tax breaks that you're currently experiencing. You're the full price. So these are just a few things to think about whenever you're selling the selling a home and buying a new one. We're going to talk more about about that. I want to mention Frank's Paint and Body Shop at 
Talk to Frank if you need a repair, and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. to go on here. Nope. so cute seeing those little giggle puppies. They have their little ears already. Oh, Blackie, it's so cute. I've never seen ears that small. Oh, they're real small. Oh, yeah. Because their heads are just like teeny tiny. They're so little. That's a scissor, so cute it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Really cute. The real pink noses. Yeah. So it's cute. funny how they're all changes. The, yeah. The tip buddy's nose is black as can be. Yep. Direct? Uh -huh. Yeah. I think. It sounds like it. It's close, but it may not. So UTSA's game is on Tuesday. Really? Mm-hmm. I got 
guys did good luck on the game. Mm -hmm. Mahomes got me almost 30 points. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Except I'm beating you, I don't like that. That's totally negative. That's okay, you're going to be in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You need... You need higher points. Yeah. So how does the playoffs work? The two teams play and then the other two teams... The other teams. There's two weeks of playoffs. Three weeks, right? It's only four people in the playoffs, yeah, so and then the there's a concert. The yeah, the so the the, you need the highest points you can possibly get because you want to be the one faces the four, and then the two and the three. So you would rather be in the one facing the least powerful one in the four spot. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be there. Who's it? Who is it? Jaime? I'm going to be in the third spot. Really? Mm -hmm. Which means I'm going to play number two, right? Yeah. Which is Simon. Oh, so Brandon's still number one? Mm -hmm. Wow. Brandon's going to be number one, and he's going to play... Sarah or Sarah. Jared. If, yeah, if Jared were to win. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. And we are talking about uh, should you buy new or remodel? And if you'd like to call us live, you can call us at 737-1200 or 1-800-383-WOAI. Again, 737-1200, be glad to take your call. It's gonna be one of the last shows of the year we're gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. It is the last show of the year because the next two are gonna be music yeah. on Saturday. So you won't hear us for <laughs> two more weeks. Like, yeah, get yeah. your questions in now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to mention BioGreen because you want your lawn to look like mine, probably, if it doesn't already. <laughs> and it's a really reasonable plan that, that uh, Joe has for you. And you want your, your lawn to start taking off next spring. Now's the time to get on this list. Go to BioGreenSA.com or call them at 421-9522. 421-9522. Again, Go to BioGreenSA.com. So we, we've mentioned several things under should I buy a new or remodel. Uh, you know that's a very personal decision. Uh, but a lot of people don't realize what can be done with remodeling, first of all. So they need to call me out to have them look at their project and show them what's possible. And a lot of times, probably even most of the time, there's things that are presented that they have never thought of. The ways they could use space more wise, you know, in a wiser way, um, and uh, keep that cost down too. But you know, remodeling is expensive, and so are so is buying a new home. It's really expensive. Typically, you're going to pay more for that new home, and as we've said, you're going to pay for selling that home. You're going to pay more taxes and more insurance, greater HOA fees, mm -hmm. and so you have to really take all those things into consideration. Let's talk a little bit about the disruption factor. Um, because nobody wants people in their home while they're living there. And so if you're gonna buy new, you're going to not have people in your home changing it. Now, let's not forget that you may have to do some repairs before you sell your home. So that may not be a completely true statement. If you're going to, and that is a factor that a lot of people realize, well, I'm gonna have to change it anyway if I'm gonna sell it to get the maximum <laughs> dollar. So why don't I just remodel it and take care of it that way? And that is not a bad way to think. No. And then after you get it fixed, after you get it repaired and you get it remodeled and you like the way it looks, then you can evaluate whether you wanna move. It doesn't prevent you from moving. No. It just gives you more options. So that's what we say. Get it repaired, of course. Take care of the things in your home that need it. Do it in a way that you'd be happy with it. And then you can figure out whether you still want to sell it or not. Because if you do sell it, you're going to get more for it. Yeah, the you, person that we met on two, Thursday, they said they were going to decide if they were going to love it or list it after the remodel is done. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they weren't 100% sure if they were going to end up staying. And after the remodel is when they were going to decide. And that is so such a nice advantage that you have in remodeling. Mm -hmm. As we say, you're not taking money out of your portfolio and spending it. You're just putting it in a different part of your portfolio when you remodel. Yeah. So if you want to do the repairs and make it look nicer, 
that kitchen needs it, then just remodel that kitchen and then decide when you want to move. Because you may fall in love with your home now because it was the thing that was bothering you. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, you're going to get some pleasure out of it if you stay there another year wanting to figure out what home you want. You might end up being there a lot longer than that. And yeah. it's nice to have that option. Mm -hmm. And you're not spending near as much outlaying of money. But if you, if you, even if you pay it off, that remodel, you're still going to be able to, you're still going to be able to get it all back. Yeah. With the price of remodeling versus the price of new homes, people are able to get back fully what they spent on the remodel. That is a wonderful option to have. And like you were saying before, with the remodeling and design, you may, as a homeowner, might not realize what can be actually done with remodeling. I know for me with my house, it took you coming in and telling me, you know you can make your bathroom bigger. I'm like, how? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not that. adding on a space. And I, I couldn't that. even see it. And, and changing the location of the closet and turning it into a larger bathroom made us good with staying in the house and love our space now. But I didn't even realize what could have been potentially done with it. Well, I'm glad you remembered that. <laughs> But yeah, that happens all the time. So I'm kind of, I kind of forget about all the times that I help people see that. Mm -hmm. But I do know that I get a lot of times them saying, we never thought of that or no one else mentioned that. And so we get a lot of clients just because it, it really blows their mind uh, and expands their thinking that they didn't know they could do that. So that's why I say, give me a call. I meet about 500 folks a year, helping them decide whether they want to stay or remodel. There's no high pressure sales. It's just showing you what potential your home has and a lot of people just really appreciate that you know saying well now I know I didn't know I would have made a decision based on incomplete information and so that's what we do so yeah there's a disruption when you remodel um, but there's a disruption when you buy new too as far as you're going to, you're going to impact your schedule mm -hmm. let's talk about what you get to do in remodeling well there's a time that you spend in design then you have a construction period which has some displacement. You may have to room, move out of that room that we're remodeling or several rooms and go into another part of the home. Most of the time though, people do not realize this is that you don't have to move out during major remodeling. There's dust walls that are put in so that you can continue to live in your home and not pay the expense of going somewhere else. Now, if you have a place you can go live for free, then by all means, you may want to consider that because you can actually save money by us not having you live there because it takes a little more work on our part to work with you and to keep you comfortable. Mm -hmm. But if that's not an option for most people without spending a lot of money, then we just recommend you stay there and let us do our dust proofing and our, our helpful manipulation of things and, and scheduling and orienting of the way the project will be done and you will be able to stay there. So there is some displacement, um, but let's talk about moving. I mean, there's a time period there and you're going to be displaced. And you have to go out and shop for the home. You have to put your home on the market. They're displacing you while you're showing your home. You have to be out when people are there. They don't want you there. Mm -hmm. You've got to go out and shop for new furniture for that home. You've got to buy a mover. And you've got to spend money on the mover, which, by the way, we didn't even mention the cost of moving. Yeah. Uh, moving. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, that usually. And then... And let's not forget that it's hard to move because you have to figure out what to do with everything. And nobody can do all of that for you. Yeah. And so it is very, very nerve-wracking, um, stressful to move. Packing. Packing, yes. <laughs> you're not packing near as much when you're just doing one room or a couple of rooms in your home to get what you want. Now, if we're doing a room addition, we're going to build that room addition first, and you won't even be even notice that we're there. Yeah, so so that's you know having someone do it professionally can really reduce the amount of stress so you may be surprised at what we can do without displacing you in your remodel I want to mention something you can do your home right now and that is have expel come out and put window film on your on your uh, on your film and uh, on your windows and you can actually reduce the amount of solar heat gain on before we go to the break, though, let's go ahead and uh, take Janice. Janice, if you're there, how can I help you?
new room. Call that right? Yes, I do, Janice. <laughs> I recognized your voice right when you called. Hi, Miss Witt. <laughs> good, good to hear you. Well, I just wanted to confirm what you were saying about not moving out during the remodeling. The dust walls that y'all erected um, did a very good job of keeping all the, the sheetrock and everything else contained to that work area. Uh, covering my roof um, it worked most of the time in terms of keeping out moisture and the cold air and everything else. But I was very pleased with the outcome, and I don't know if you looked at my house lately, but um, I ended up, you know, doing some more rock work on the front in addition to what y'all did for me. And it's made my house look like a, a brand new house to the point where neighbors I don't even know will stop by and tell me how much they appreciate uh, the revision of my house. I went from being, I think, the ugliest dog in the neighborhood <laughs> to being one of the most attractive. Well, I definitely say that it made a huge difference. And and I remember that huge tarp that we put over that roof to, to protect it because yours, yours was just incorporating so many areas of the roof and what a change that made. And, and uh, it was a pleasure working for you. Thank you so much for calling the show. I'm glad I, I took your call. I didn't know that was you, Janice. <laughs> I just, like I say, if anyone is thinking about remodeling, um, it's worth it and y'all do a very uh, fine job. Your workers are extremely polite and professional and um, everything about the, the project was very, very beneficial to me and my pocketbook. Well, thank you again, and it was a pleasure. And I hope you have a great new 2022. Bye. And so we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling Show, and hopefully we can uh, take your calls when we get back after the break. Wealth isn't simply about money. It's more than just the numbers in your portfolio or your bank account. Wealth is all the... That was nice. He showed me that the call was there. Yeah. I'm just not used to getting calls anymore. <laughs> She's so sweet. Yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, we'll have to ask. I'm going to make a note to ask Andy for that sound bite. I know, I'm jealous. Why? It's so good. I just don't remember anything about it. Special. Whatever. Are you getting pasta or something like that? Lasagna? Oh, is it lasagna? Oh, yeah. I'll enjoy it. This one? Yeah, I have to double check. And I know I can take him off too. We won't we'll take him off until we get somebody else, but. waiting for it to stay cold. It's going to be cold this weekend. Consistent. Yeah, and then it's going to get warm again. I know, right? It's crazy. 80 next Monday. This coming Monday? No. A week from Monday? Yes.
Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And this is our last show for the year and we'll catch you in 2022. <laughs> um, I want to mention someone that just became our sponsor that it's been a pleasure meeting and that is Mickey at Rio Medina Truck and Auto Repair and Marine. He does it all. Truck, autos, marine, and probably even motorcycles. I haven't asked him yet. But um, just went up there to see him and they're having a, they had a big party yesterday. I went over there Thursday and he just threw, he had like 300 people at his Christmas party. Wow. <laughs> he throws a party. And um, so of course he, he did my boat, my jet boat. And he's, he even checked out Morgan's car, but he can do it all. They're a triple A, great a triple A service center. Mm -hmm. So if you um, have, a, have all insurance with triple A, then they can help you out. And you have to have super high ratings. <laughs> but uh, he's worth the drive out at, at Rio Medina. It's and, a pretty uh, drive. Yeah, it's really nice out there. Rio Medina Truck and Auto Re Truck Auto Repair .com. or call him at 830-931-9060. That's Mickey at 830-931-9060. And what a great sponsor. What a great guy. And so we're, we're going to just kind of summarize all of the things that we've talked about here. Uh, but in Deciding whether you should buy a new home or remodel, think about the higher, the, the lower cost in remodeling than buying a new home. Not just the initial payment, but the taxes, the insurance, the HOA costs that go up, the cost of selling a home is uh, typically 12 to 14 percent. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's from, not from us, that's from, from Open Door. And um, so there's a disruption that is usually much that's usually almost as great in a um, in buying a home by the time you do the moving, the furniture, the shopping, and so forth. You can actually live in your home, just like Janice called, mm -hmm. and she was really impressed with those dust balls that we did. <laughs> I remember her talking about it during. And so you too can have that kind of service even while you live in your home. And she's just so proud of her home like all of our clients are. Yeah. I want to mention too that uh, you know, once you once you do those taxes, you move into a new home. That that's what they charge you. If you've been able to negotiate your taxes lower with the city, with Bear County, or Comal or Kendall, whichever one, you, that's all about to change when you buy a new home. And you can't go backwards. You never go backwards on the value of that home. It's only going to go up from there. And that's a number. That's a savings that for some of us, it's half of what we'll be paying if we buy a new home from living in a remodeled home. And that's you know anywhere from $6,000 a year mm -hmm. on up that you're saving every year. What's that, $500 a month? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And taxes and insurance, you can easily save, easily save $500 a month. So that's something that people don't think of. That would actually pay for your remodeling project, <laughs> $500 a month. Yeah. And you have a very nice one. Yes. So think about it that way. Uh, location is another one. A lot of people do not want to leave their home, so location is a big one to them. The schools, the neighbors, their establishment, you know, there is tree, even their trees in their neighborhood established. You go to these new subdivisions, you don't get as much typically on the lot. You get closer to your neighbors. Your trees are going to be all new, all your landscaping. I know that's one thing I'd hate to leave is, is the landscaping that I put in. Mm -hmm. um, do you, you're going to be living out further? Does it have the amenities that your neighborhood do? Are you close to where you want to be like you are now? Those are things that a lot of people think about. Schools was a big one too. Yeah. And so you don't have to change that if you remodel. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it's not where you want to be, well, then you can remodel and then sell it and get the <laughs> most value for the buck. And that's what we want to mention too. No matter which way you choose, it's usually a good idea to remodel those areas of the home, the bathroom and the kitchen, uh, before you before you sell mm -hmm. so that you get the maximum value out of that. You will not have to worry about getting it, getting paid back. We have too many case histories to show you get paid back handsomely for the work you did. But in the meantime, you get to enjoy it and you get <laughs> to buy yourself time yeah. so that if you don't want to move right away, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can enjoy this for a while and take your time and figure out when you want to buy that home or find that home in the market we've been in recently. It wasn't easy to find the home that you want. Go ahead and remodel it, and then you'll get you'll get peak payment back for it while you enjoy the time in your home 
and buy yourself some time mm -hmm. to, to go ahead and get that new home. And that might end up being longer than you think. Um, so it's a really good time to do it right now while interest rates are low. If you can go ahead and remodel your home right now, your interest rates are gonna make that payment really, really cheap. And we have wonderful uh, associates at Frost Bank that are the best in the business at lending mm -hmm. for remodeling. And Leslie over there will be glad to talk to you. All you have to do to get in touch with any of this information is give us a call at 680-5626 and, uh, and then we will help you at 680-KMCO mm -hmm. if you want to remember it and then I'll come out and visit you. If you want information on financing, we'll put you in touch with Leslie at Frost Bank. And if you would like to look up more information about us even before we come, then look us up at kmbuilders.com. Morgan is in charge of our marketing. Tell us a little bit about what they would see on the website. Well, you'll be able to see our weekly blogs and we post all of our videos to our website so you can find our weekly videos and see projects complete remodels from start to finish that we've been videoing. So that's a really awesome tool to use and you can look at our FAQ page and try and find all the answers to, we try to answer as many remodeling questions as we can. Yeah, I think the videos really show us in action on the projects, walking the projects, and at any given time, KM Builders has 25 plus projects actually in motion in construction. We usually have 30 to 50 projects that are in the design phase. We have mm -hmm. three designers with a degree in architecture, three interior designers, two cabinet designers, three estimators that, are, that deal with structural, and then you and Bob are both managers over that, those two departments. Yep. So if you would like us to help you out, we are, we are able to do it. We have a 48 person staff ready to assist you. We look forward to working for you. Get signed up so that we can get meet each other in 2022 early so we can start designing your project at KM Builders. Go to kmbuilders.com or call 680-KMCO. Have a good week and have a good rest of the year, everybody. <laughs> The preceding show was paid for by KM Builders. Builders. The views and opinions expressed are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily represent. What did you say? Kept waiting for the wrap up.